when it comes to religious freedom, uh, sometimes people argue that the Catholics should be careful not to impose their religious views on other people. Um, and people who tell us that are often secularists who are in the business of imposing their views on Catholics and on the church. Commitments of one kind or another are um, embodied in most of human decisions. And if we don't um, promote the, the view of uh, our faith, somebody else's view of reality is going to be promoted. Politics is, is about someone's point of view winning over somebody else's after vigorous debate, or sometimes without very vigorous debate. So I think it's very important for Catholics to be involved in, in the world in a very active way and, and to let their faith infuse their way of thinking and their way of acting so that our, our world becomes a, a friendlier place for every human being uh, and for the common good. Many secularists uh, fear religion and they think that uh, people who are believers are dangerous. Somehow religious views are the cause of wars and, uh, and fighting in the world. Uh, but if you look back into the most recent history, you know, the time of World War I and World War II, uh, the ideologies that led to world conflict there were not religious points of view, they were secularist points of view without God. Uh, they're, they're much more dangerous than uh, a world where people, a world that's populated by people who are believers. It, it, Christianity inherently leads to peace because it's based on uh, a, a common view that God is a father of us all and that we are sisters and brothers to one another, which really brings us to unity. So uh, Catholics shouldn't fall victim to those kind of uh, warnings from the secular left because those are self-serving warnings. and. Uh, and uh, I, I think I would be every bit as afraid of the, the, the secular left as any other group because uh, without God at the heart of who we are, um, man um, on his own does some pretty miserable things. <laughs>